Hi, my name is Timo Virtanova. I'm going to show you some basic features and basic stuff of uh, Valentina pattern making software. The Valentina is an open source pattern making software which you can create all kind of patterns for your garment and as I said it's free of charge and it's available for various operating systems from Windows Mac and, and most of the Linux favors. So there is nothing which can, which can hinder you creating great patterns. Um, you can find the, most of the stuff in uh, Valentina uh, project.org page. And uh, here you can find uh, the download, of course, but one of the key features here is that you have the forum page here where you can again find good answers and if you have questions and you want to share something this is the place where you can do it and also there is a wiki page about Valentina where you find a lot of good information as well if you want to participate of developing it or other in other way here is the information for you and if you want to download uh, the development version of the Valentina you can find it from the repository and um, here is the download section where you can download uh, the beta versions or the development versions of the software and also there is few uh, patterns which you can download and you can test and and see how how it's working so this is the basic stuff and when you go to the Valentina itself it's something like this here is a, a trouser block uh, which I've made and um, we can, if we will zoom in, you see that here are uh, the points and the lines and, and this is where, the, where everything starts. Now there has been a lot of question about in the, in the forum page can you import an existing uh, drawing into Valentina? And I will simply answer that straight away. Here is the trousers and um, I have here uh, somewhere, I have here uh, an SVG file of the trousers. And um, if you want to uh, use that straight away, you probably will get similar to this. You have a pattern that you want to somehow import to the Valentina. It doesn't make sense. And it's simply because um, all, the, all the measurements which were there are not just lines which has been drawn. All the lines are based on uh, either measurement or mathematical formula. So the reverse engineering of creating the formula from the from the actual drawing it's extremely difficult and I would say it's impossible and it doesn't make sense. It's much much easier to start with uh, with a blank page on Valentina and create the pattern by yourself. It's, it's very easy to do. And if you have looked um, how you draw uh, patterns on paper, it's uh, based on instructions. You measure something, you draw a line and you measure distance and you put a point and then you could draw another line across that line or some, some angle and again a distance and it goes from one point to another and it end up full pattern 
and it's a similar way how the Valentina is, is working. So um, here is uh, the trousers as I showed you and um, behind these trousers all the formulas we can go to a one specific point and look the values of that and uh, here is a a formula this is a simple one some of them are far more complicated for example this point it's actually it's relying to this measurement this line's distance which is measured from the drawing and then used to get this point so again creating these formulas out of this uh, uh, drawing it's impossible so how Valentina works uh, when you start you get this kind of uh, page uh, which is gray and you just need to create a pattern piece you just push new and you get the pattern piece and you get the first point and when we zoom fit the best we get the point and it's starting from the from the A and um, here on the left side are all the drawing tools or the um, they are drawing tools but uh, actually they are uh, drawing instruction tools more than drawing tools not in a, um, in a uh, normal sense drawing tools like what you have in a graphics program uh, this is all instructions let's take it we take the first tool which is um, creating point from uh, to a distance we select the starting point and then we take the line in some directions we need to tell the length of that line and we need to tell the angle of the line we can select the color and and the line type and then we just push OK if, if five centimeters is okay for us and then zoom zoom fit the best and um, then we can continue we can do similar thing or we can select another tool which is which is uh, point along uh, perpendicular which is actually 45 degrees uh, angles and we select the point where we want to draw it and we select the other point which is a reference point and again we need to tell the length and we can adjust the angle if, if that is not what we want we can have something else to for example if we take 180 degrees then now it's going down and then it's going to go up and we can select a different line type and then we have the uh, second point or the third point and then we can create another point in, in, by intersection of these two points and um, we can create curves and this is the only place where where I could could say that it's 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 a little bit like normal draw, drawing tool we can we can use the Bezier curves and we can we have the candles and we don't have to tell how the uh, curve will go because it's in, it's impossible it's it's far more easier to do that in a graphical way but still all is by instructions it's it's telling how Valentina is going to draw the line we are not drawing the line we tell how to draw the line and it's a simple thing because um, we can um, then use uh, 
variables. We have two places. We have a place where we have collected all the variables. Uh, here are all the line values and the curves and all that, but there are increment values which are user defi uh, uh, definable uh, variables. And we can we can create here, for example, we can put like line length, and we take let's say that that's um, six centimeters, and then we go to this uh, point. We uh, that was 10 centimeters now, but if we want to change that, we go and build the formula. We're using the line length and select that. And suddenly the whole drawing changes. And it changes if we'll change this value to something else, like eight centimeters, then the picture is changed as, as, as we want it. And therefore, again, it's impossible to import these things because uh, the drawings or the patterns are based on the values of human body, either you or someone else or your customer, who, whoever. And um, they vary, they are different. We can have their measurements we can create a measurement file for some some person if you want and uh, we can add uh, there are a huge bunch of measurements that that we can add into into this program so if if you go and measure all these values you have everything so you can create anything just by these measurements but to be honest uh, you don't need them all you just need a handful of those but the selection is huge so that you can pick the one you like most and um, the idea is that when you have the pattern you have the measurement file and if you change the measurement file to someone else then the garment is uh, made for that person who whose file is is in use so it's you don't have to draw uh, the gum and the pattern anymore you just change the file which is which is really good and useful okay we are not we are not saving that and um, then this is just getting the drawing. As I said, there are plenty of tools. There's arc tool, elliptical arc. You can rotate, mirror, move, and uh, do a lot of things. But uh, anyway, the end result, what you want to get, is a, a pattern that you can use to cut the fabric. And even you can create SVG file out of this if you want, but but paper is something normally what people are looking for. And how you do it? You, you can't... Uh, the patterns are in the detail place, but you can't use the detail mode because you don't have, we don't have any details yet. So we go to a detail and we create a new one. We select the points, we select the first one, we select the arc, and uh, this arc is going counterclockwise and it should go uh, clockwise, so we have to use that as, as a reverse. And uh, then we are taking the next point, the A2 and A1, and now now the circle is complete. We can uh, forbid the flipping if you want. That is not useful in this time, but in some some patterns it is useful. 
we can select the seam allowance if you want and we can give some details to that pattern if you want and we can have labels written on, on the on the pattern and we can create the grain line if you want but let's say that we want to have one centimeter seam allowance and that's it and now we can go uh, to the detail mode and here is our pattern with uh, or pattern piece with the uh, seam allowance and then we can go and try to print it so here is the piece on the on the paper it's it's a roll paper it's, it's 60 centimeters wide so that's why it's, it's so small and in the in the other other part of the paper and uh, uh, the paper margin are not shown in this preview window and if you want to uh, print it we can print it that on paper we can uh, save it as a styled P PDF and uh, preview and we can print it directly and we can export that as an SVG file on or other format file if you want so that that might be useful for for something for example my many many times when I have uh, my patterns I, I, I put you uh, export them as SVG and uh, then I do some documentation based on those SVG file and then I can import that into to an in working instructions document and and so on so it's 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 very useful feature but the printing itself it's it's working the longest one i have uh, printed so far is 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 a little bit over 10 meters roll paper so so it was it was a a, a male jacket with everything so it was uh 60 60 pieces so it, it was a huge huge printout but it's it's working and no problem i have i have made comment uh with valentina over a year so it's it's working perfectly okay for that so we can go back to the drawing and uh, as i said this is the place where you can play and when you have created something create the detail and Create the layout, export that, or print that, or something. It, it's it's very useful, and then then you can grab the understanding of of the whole thing. But the whole thing lies beyond these uh, drawing instructions, which could be very e easy ones, which just getting the value from somewhere, or they can be very complicated. There is there is a bunch of functions that you can you can use and and there is even if then else uh, structure available so it that doesn't limit your creativity okay that was some sort of a very short introduction just trying to explain something what what valentina is and and what is it not thanks see you next time